Last Christmas holiday, our family took the spirit of Tasmania to travel from Geelong to Devonport and back. We spent our two amazing weeks in Tasmania and thought the ferry trip was worth it. Starting point of the ferry is at Geelong, about a one-hour drive from Melbourne CBD. Geelong is a beautiful coastal town with nice beaches to go for a walk while waiting for your ferry. There are many restaurants nearby if you need to dine before boarding. Devonport is a nice little town with shops and restaurants to spend your time while waiting for your ferry here. I would recommend arriving well before departure as it is a very long queue. You should arrive from about 45 inch to 2.5 hours before departure. Waiting is very long. For biosecurity reasons, you will not be able to bring fresh food, vegetables, fruits, meat, seafood products, and honey to Tasmania. There are security staff checking it when you arrive at Devonport. Heavy fines are applied. The departure for our night trip was around 11 p.m. and it was a 10-hour trip. If you bring the car, you will need to enter your car model and dimensions, at the check-in gate all details need to match, otherwise, you can't drive into the ferry. At the gate, you show the tickets then you will get the boarding pass. All passengers have to stay inside the car while waiting for boarding. You are guided by staff to park on the ship. It's pretty easy to park here actually. After parking, you will not be able to return to your cars until checkout time. You should bring all your snacks, medications, warm clothes, and necessary stuff with you to the decks. It's very windy and cold at the decks so you should bring warm clothes with you. Spirit of Tasmania is nearly 200 meter long and can carry up to 1,400 passengers, 500 cars with 220 cabins. The ship has 11 decks connected by four sets of color-coded stairs. There is also lift access. Decks 1 to 6 are for up to 500 vehicles like cars, trucks, and caravans. You can't access these decks during the trip. Deck 11 is a helicopter landing pad. Deck 7 to 10 includes public areas, crew, and passenger cabins. Deck 8 mostly are cabins. Deck 9 has a terrace lounge and bar, a view of the ship and crew area. Deck 10 has kid play areas next to a bar for parents and free game areas and is the highest level you can get to. Deck 7 is the hub of entertainment and food with everything you need from free filter water, a game zone, a modern bar with cozy chairs to relax, a quiet reading room, and a tourism hub. The tourism hub at the reception area is where you can purchase national park passes if you plan to get to Tasmanian national parks such as Cradle Mountains. The best way to buy tickets is online with special discounts if you purchase tickets early. Tickets are sold out fast for peak seasons such as December and January so you need to plan and book early. Smoking and non-smoking areas are outside deck 7 and 9. The waves were very rough and the ship rocked a lot at the start, then it got better once it got out to the ocean.
Deck 7 is also home to Tasmanian Market Kitchen TMK featuring Tasmania's best food produce. The restaurant has hot and continental breakfast options in the morning and a buffet for lunch and dinner for $35. All payments are card only. Pizzas and toasties or other food from Deck 10 are also good and less crowded. This is the emergency master signal, consisting of seven short blasts, followed by one long. There are three bars on the ship selling beers, spirits, and wines. Sunset and sunrise are beautiful and you should watch them on board. There are wake-up calls about 45 minutes before the ship arrives. Passengers without cars get out first. Passengers with cars waiting to be called by the deck numbers. Staff will guide you and help you to get your car out of the ship. After about two hours of departing, I was not able to access the internet on my phone. You can pay to access the Wi-Fi on board. We didn't need to because we sleep throughout the night. For overnight trips, there is a free recliner lounge with your ferry ticket. You can upgrade to book a cabin for extra comfort which I highly recommend if you travel at night. Spirit of Tasmania 1 has 22 cabins from bunk bed cabins to luxury queen rooms. For us, we book the cabin with bunk beds. It's pretty good with full bunk beds, wall-mounted reading lights, small tables with power points, coat hangers, and a private bathroom with a toilet. We paid $220 per night for this cabin. It's worth it as we all had a good night's sleep and woke up to start our Tassie adventure from day one. 
This is the cabin with a view. If you travel during the daytime, recliners are $39 per person. It looks like a premium economy seat on an airplane. For a free recliner seat, you can choose to pay for lockers. There are two small cinemas with the latest releases. Tickets are $10 for adults, $7 and 50 cents for pensioners, and percent five for children from three to 15 years old. A small pantry shop sells sausage rolls, sandwiches, drinks like coffee and chocolate drinks, toiletries, medicines, etc. Prices here are very reasonable, the same as outside shops. Overall it was an easy and smooth overnight ferry trip for us from Geelong to Devonport and back from Devonport to Geelong two weeks later. It was an amazing experience for us, especially with the kids as they love playing the free games on boards. I hope you find this video useful to plan your trip. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for your support. Have a safe and exciting journey.